What's up, everyone? How are we all doing? Oh, and uh, how's the sound? Because I have no idea if it's currently correct. I should update my stream title because it's not exactly grammatically correct. Let me just do that before we start. Sound seems okay to me. Alright. Good. Welcome everyone. I don't think I've heard this song before. Last time I um, started the stream uh, from RST3 when I was already in the park. I didn't really listen to the soundtrack, but it's a nice tune. But let's start our park, shall we? What's up, Salmon the Ella? Oh, it's you. Welcome. Sandbox mode, as usual. Even just an empty park takes, well, what was it? 10 seconds to load. Takes too long for me. All right, let's start. A lot of people were requesting another RST3 stream, so I was, well, what the hell, let's do one. Oh, welcome to your first stream then, uh, Nessie. All right, let's make a gender right. Let's build, ooh, let's build a crazy golf. Because apparently a normal golf is not crazy enough. Oh, we have six holes to pick from. Let's start with the normal hole, the standard one. What a crazy idea. Yeah, you know, I know, right? I'm so crazy, you, you don't know what I'll do next. Let's make a hill. Or stairs. Ooh, now this is crazy. Look at that. It's the Dutch hole with a windmill. Which you either have to go around, but there are also holes in it, so you can go through it as well. Oh, you can walk around. Oh, thank you, uh, Salmonella, for the sub. And now let's go down it. Wait, can I? Oh, God. I need to fix this hole later. My bot appends what to the link? Oh. And it's in Dutch. <laughs> well, I'll look at that later. Um, I had no idea if it would be correct. Um, at least the notification seems to work. Ooh, now this is cool. Imagine if this was one big hole. Now I have to walk all the way around here. Just because I feel like making them walk. As the mini golf. 
Oh, I hate this hole. I'm so terrible at this kind of hole. Last time I played mini golf, I got stuck on this thing for ages. What else do we have? Five, which is four. Wait, no, this was five. Four. Ooh, no, that's a cool one. I like that kind of hole. And now we only have two left, which is the same as the two in RST2. Which is the zigzag. Yeah, people have told me, Ollie. Also, welcome to the stream. Uh, you go there, you go there. Let's use this queue line today. With this path. Uh, once again, can't I, can I not replace it? Like, oh well. Uh, let's just open it, shall we? And we'll make it play music. Music summer air, yes, please. Why is this not sorted alphabetically? Oh, I don't like the darkness. There we go, that's better. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Will he do well? That's pathetic. Come on, dude. How terrible can you be? Are there, there are two people on the same hole? And the other dude got a hole in one. Even jumps about it. <laughs> well, that's one thing that RST2 did right. Only one person allowed per hole. <laughs> Alright, let's see how they do on the windmill. Together. Uh, I don't know... Of course, the bald dude did better again. Now there's three people in a single hole. <laughs> oh god, this music. It's amazing. Oh, sup, water cooler. Good to see you here as well. Oh, hey, now this yellow dude is in front again. These two seem to have somewhat merged. Oh, come on, how are you that? <laughs> They're just hitting each other with the... With the golf clubs. That must be painful. He is doing quite well now. Oh, okay, it's going in. Thank God. I like how the animations don't line up. So it looks like they're just punching the grass and they're getting their ball out of the grass. It's probably the most entertaining thing I've watched all month. And you must not have had a very entertaining month. <laughs> or I'm more entertaining than I think. He's pulling ahead. Oh god, so many people. It's so crowded. <laughs> <laughs> now imagine making an impossible hole and eventually you, you have like a hundred guests on the same hole. <laughs> This is crazy golf indeed. Alright, now it's quite a long walk to this. Let's see how they do on this one. Ooh, suddenly the music is loud again. Y 
you know, the dynamic range on this is a bit too much in the loudness of the music. If y'all are having a bad day, just remember that the guests missed a two foot putt. <laughs> yeah, they're not great. And also not great at this hole. But, oh well, apparently Mr. Bald Dude is. I missed that. There he goes, there he goes. Just one more hole to go. Will he win? Now that's the question. He is doing well. But can he conquer the zigzag? Well, not with that kind of shot. I don't think the angles are correct exactly. The physics aren't perfect in this game. <laughs> but did it just push it the wrong way? Well, he is done first and he did not start first, so props to him, I suppose. And there he goes. Well done. How crowded is it here? <laughs> this is amazing. This is <laughs> Imagine this on a real mini golf. Oh hey, the park inspector is here as well. Wait, this is, this is supposed to be flat, right? The ball was going up here and then suddenly it got like momentum in the direction of the hole. That's not how physics work. <laughs> this is so cursed. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> There's like seven people or no, ten people, I think, in one hole. And yes, I realize that there are a lot of innuendos here. Mr. Bones Wild Golf. I think we'll call it that. Um, how do I change names? There we go. Mr. Bones White Wild Golf. Alrighty. That was more fun than I expected. <laughs> it's just a mini golf. But it's so much greater than the standard mini golf in RCT2. Alright. Do we actually have Mr. Bones? Good question. Um, scenery items. Let's see. We have Spooky, right? Yeah. Um, oh, we have a skull. Oh, we have sort of a Mr. Bones here. That's uh, close enough for me. Let's see what else we have. We have this. I think those are the closest. Alright, let's build another ride. Oh, you know what? Let's build um, an exhibit with some animals first. What animal to do? What animal to do? I think I, I'll do some Mr. Long Arms or Orangutan. Let's build a fence, shall we? Let's... What kind of fence do they need? You cannot... 
Well, you might be able to turn off collision boxes. I don't think so, but probably might be. Um, chain fence. Uh, it's this one. All right, let's make a fairly big exhibit. Might I suggest a powered launch roller coaster that fires straight down the path of guests? Yes, I actually did not do that last time. Even though I probably said I would. Alright, let's do some orangutans. You know what? Let's mix it with some gorillas. Let's see who's stronger. Oh wait, they need electric fans. Well, never mind. Can't put them in here. What can I mix them with? Well, not a leopard. That's kind of a bad idea. Um, how about a panda? Oh wait, I still had gorilla selected. Oops. Well, I'm going to sell you. See ya, Dave. Um. Oh, I can put chimps in here. Yes. Okay, now how do I make them happy? Um, I think I need some animal houses, right? Yeah, I need this. Um, two should be enough. Trees, yes, trees as well. Um, although I don't know what kind of trees. Oh, this is this kind of stuff. Oh, I want this. This is like a guest enclosure looky thingy. Um, let's do some balls. Chimpanzees love balls. Oh, right in the goal. Some blocks of ice. Some durable rocks. Because normal rocks break so quickly. Oh, did you cut? They're playing with them. That's cool. Some tires. Some plushies. And a box. Why not a box? <laughs> Alright. Do I have any information on what kind of trees they want or is any good old tree enough habitat seems to be great hunger and thirst not so much let me dump well first let me save this park um rct or let's call it stream 24 Five is it today? Yes. Eleven twenty. Oh wait, I need to do that here. Stream twenty five eleven twenty dot that. And then let's uh hire some of these animal keeper thingies. Plenty so that the animals won't go hungry or have a dirty enclosure or anything like that okay now let's do some trees uh, not just the spooky ones the normal ones please let's do some medium oaks I like oak trees Now this is a great enclosure, isn't it? Let's see how long it takes for them to mate and give me a baby. But first let's build some path. Around it. Um, 
Oh, thank you very much, Leo Gangel. Now that one's connected as well, so I can open the viewing gallery. I'm going to build path all the way around it. You can have a thousand inversion coaster with decent stats in this game. Yeah, uh, if, you, if, you, if you want a nice coaster stats um, system with balanced bonuses and stuff like that, you don't you, you don't need to look at this game. All right, let's open this. And there we are. I think guests will enjoy this. Let's take a look. His hunger is not great. Um, thirst is not great, but that's on him. Or I assume he can drink in this whatever this is. Um, oh yeah, there we go. He's a trough. So that should work fine. No, the fence is not electrified. Apparently, they just don't climb out. What's keeping them from climbing out? Game design. Okay, let's fire a coaster down the middle. Although, I might have taken away some guests from there, but that's alright. Let's actually advertise so that we get some more guests. Uh, how do we do that again? Park operation, I suppose. Yes. College newspaper. And of course the parenting magazine. Alright. Let's do a corkscrew coaster. I believe that has a launch. If I just launch it this way if I'm quick because the guests are slow and then we make it launched very very quickly oh it only goes to 72 kilometers per hour screw that Now it goes faster. If I want a faster launch, I will get a faster launch. Don't forget that. There we go. Alright, are you ready to play bowling with guests? Here we go. Ooh. Whee! <laughs> Everywhere! <laughs> Ooh, an explosion! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Ooh, he's fast! Oh, they're actually intelligent enough to find the path again. As opposed to the RCT2 guests. Whoa. Who? Oh. What are they doing? Are they imitating the apes? Why is it so crowded here? You know, let's get rid of that crowd. Come on. There we go. Whee! <laughs> That's so much fun. <laughs> but seriously. What are they doing? Is this a glitch? 
it's constantly lost. I might have, I might have glitched this a little. What if I pick him up and put him here? That seems to be normal, but I'm not going to do that for everyone. Because that's a lot of work. Super close of few, well yeah, of each other. Lost, well I'll get you out of the enclosure. Because there are no gates. Um, but all the other guests. I feel like there are more guests joining in as well. That are coming from... Oh. It's just stopped. And they're all doing normal things again. Well, apart from these fellas in the enclosure. But screw them. Oh, they're stuck in the falling animation. Well, now it works again. Every now and then I'll activate this. Ooh, we have a pregnant chimpanzee. That's nice. Wait, which one was it? Charlie the Chimp. Which is Charlie? This one. She's pregnant. Wait, where is she? Is it this one? I think so. Name the baby Marshall. Well, I can't yet. But if I remember to. Oh, look. They've all collected here. Well, they can stay inside, uh, inside the enclosure. Oh, I've won an award. Nice. Okay, I will also build another launched coaster. Um, I'll put the station here, which is a bit out of view. Oh, another pregnant chimp. I wonder at if, if, if I do nothing, how many chimps we'll have at the end of the stream. Wow, you cannot place a track piece here. Let me see, I need to go there, then there. Do that. Oh, it's too high. Stupid height limits. Yeah. John Wardley. Then we'll continue building this. And I'll make this come straight down. Oh, I actually can't go straight down with this coaster. No worries. I'll just hang on. No. There we go. I actually need to go on two more pieces, I think. And then I can land it right on there, yeah. Now let's make it launch. A fast launch at that. Now I don't think they can kill in this game. Uh, guests cannot die. But they can be chased. Which is fun. Alright, what happens if we test this one? Doesn't make it in the first place. Barely. And then it crashes down there. That's what I want. In case it ever gets crowded there. I can just launch this and we'll have some fun. It is tile based still. Planet Coaster is free, although you can enable tiles for some easier building. 
but generally planned coaster is free based. All right. Um, wait, what did I do? Oh, I pressed R and then apparently that happened. I pressed R because I wanted to build a ride and in RST2, that's my shortcut. <laughs> Let's build another gentle ride, shall we? Ah, I always like these trampolines. They're fun rides. Good evening, Dutch Terminator. Alright, this one can play Summer Air 2. If I can find it. Oh, it's up here. Let's open it. I think I might replace this path now because it's annoying me that it's grey. So one thing that I definitely want to do this stream is just build a big like giga coaster kind of ride and see what kind of excitement rating I can get. All right, I'll get them out of the enclosure. Ooh, they're afraid. That's cool. Luckily, it's not that many guests. They're also fleeing from Oli the Orangutan. <laughs> nice. I don't know about you, but usually for me, fleeing involves some kind of running and not just doing that over and over again. But maybe that's just me. Why does gravity take so long to kick in? I was wondering that as well. Alright, now that's solved. I assume all the other fellas in here are zookeepers. Yes, it seems to be. Kid in an ape enclosure. Where have we seen this before? Ah, yes. But I don't have one named Harambe. So mine aren't gonna die. Sadly. Let's take a look at this. Still crowded here. Although less crowded than before. Why did the shadows just change? Because RST3 operates on a day system. You can see that on top here. And no mechanics can reach Mr. Bones Wild Golf. Yeah, because I have no mechanics. Um, the day goes by at a relatively slow pace. Because the, these actual days, like the 3rd of August, 4th of August, go they're not in sync at all with this time of day. Um, and when the time of day changes, so will the shadow. Because the sun will be moving around the sky. Okay, let's hire some mechanics. Because I need some. And we have no money, so we can hire a lot. I think these aren't mechanic security guards, but let's hire some anyway. Now let's also hire some sweepy guys. That ought to be enough. Sup, Knackhorst. <laughs> Knackhorst is great, by the way. Um, what's the park named right now? doesn't really have a name. It's technically called Sandbox. What do you guys think? What are your suggestions for a name? Oh, hi Zork. Welcome to the stream. The 
Garbage Land, Cincinnati Zoo. Marcel's Gorillas and Golf. I like that. There we go. That's a nice suggestion. Oh, they actually also have tasks here. Which is just the same as in RST2, except no mowing grass. That's one good thing that I took away. The grass, because I actually don't like the fact that the grass goes all weedy and stuff in RST2. I think it's ugly. Um, it, can, it can look nice in some like forest stuff, but... In general, especially before I take screenshots or before I record some for my video, I always use the G to clear the grass. Um, just because it looks nicer. Okay, let's build a big ass coaster. I want a giga coaster. There we go. Let's see what kind of excitement ratings we'll get. Can we have a steep chain lift? No, we can't. Well, let's have a normal chain lift then. There we go. Auto clicker. Gotta love it. Table lift hill. Right, that's a good idea. Completely forgot about that. I assume you can do that with steep as well. Let's go taller. We can always go taller. Yes. Which auto clicker do you use? Uh, don't know. <laughs> don't know. <laughs> I've done it years ago, and it works. Still someone trapped in the enclosure. I'll get you out later. Do you have an infinite amount of money? Yes, it's the sandbox. Alright, let's... Do a super banked turn so that... Uh oh, what about overbanked cur... Oh, hang on. There we go. Large overbanked curve. That's cool. Um, do we have a cable lift speed? Or maybe this is the cable lift speed. I don't know. Let's test it. Also interesting that uh, there are no supports here. I suppose because it's above the normal support limit. It's gotta be fragile. I want longer trains. Whoa! Damn! <laughs> now that's a long train. Alright, where's the cable? Wait, it doesn't seem like the cable lift... Oh, there it is. It has worked. But where's the cable? Can I already see it? Or does it just take forever to get down? Oh, it's already down. Oh, uh, whoops. That doesn't work. Uh, okay, now we need to wait again. Let's just continue building. I really wonder what the stats on this will be. I'm just gonna make it huge. Ah, there it goes. Oh, it's so slow. It'll add to the ride time though, which at least in RST2 increases intensity. Now, I've played RST3 on stream before, but also before that I've played it for quite a lot of hours. 
Whee! I imagine being on that. <laughs> oh, I don't really have any more interesting track pieces. I do, I, I'm glad to see you here, uh, Emerald or Bust. I do have a schedule though. I, I'm always live on Sunday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. CET. Actually, I want this overbanked. All right, 90 degrees. Ooh, another pregnant orangutan. It's going to be huge. The best coaster you've ever seen. Not only the best, but the largest, greatest coaster ever built. You know it. RCT community is not dwindling down. What are you talking about? We have more RCT YouTubers than ever. And probably streamers as well. We're doing great. Is he Wait, where did the... Huh? Did, did you guys... I, I did not see that Ghost Train go over this, but it got reset. That's... The train came back down the hill. Oh, the train rolling so long that it... Didn't put it fast enough. Ugh. I'll make it shorter then. Let's do eight. That 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 should work, right? Um, let's turn on low friction because why not? If we do this, we will just have to wait forever. <laughs> I'll uh, go back into that once it goes. In the meanwhile, I'll get some of the remaining guests that are stuck in here out of here. Oh, they're in this corner. We still have a while. The chain lift takes a bit. Yeah, gravity is a bit slow, just like last time. All right. There we go. Well, RST will not make a resurgence like Minecraft, but um, it might become more popular, but not that kind of resurgence. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wonder how tall this is, like 200 meters, 300 meters, something like that. We're almost there. Let's go or not. Oh no 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 <laughs> Oh we actually survived Alright let's make it one car shorter still And let's uh, continue building in the meantime, shall we? I'm just gonna make it humongous. Ooh, this is cool. Look at this. This is amazing. And now, now, now an overbank turn this way.
<laughs> Looks like Pringle, yeah, a bit. All right, let's see if it comes down finally. I can, can I see the top? Just, ah. <laughs> oh yeah, I hear the, <laughs> there's the train. <laughs> I've never been this zoomed in before. <laughs> Alright, come on train. There we go. Looks good. Good evening, Captain Black. Train looks like it's glowing. Well, pretty much is because this is the ghost train. It also can't really crash. Okay, that doesn't work. We'll do that. And we'll do some more overbanked turn shenanigans. There we go. Okay, that doesn't work. What if we do a turn? I wonder what the stats are currently. So I'll just finish this. And let's see what the stats are. Uh, that's the wrong kind of bank. That way is better. You know what, let's do some breaks. So that I don't have to bank my turns anymore. Alright, it's finished. Now, as usual, it'll take a while before the train is up. So let's already build the... Um, Exit and ex entrance path. I'm gonna build nice and long for this. There we go. And let's launch this again, shall we? There we go. Ooh, it even hit the trampoline. And they are all stuck in the falling animation. Alright. Let's go. We're quite near the top. We should be going quite fast at the bottom. Off to space! There is the top. Shame we can't change the chain lift speed or the cable lift speed. There we go. Ooh, we're going fast. Really fast. This looks uncomfortable. Just slightly. Ooh, the G's on that. The negative G's. This is going uncomfortably fast. But the guests will be fine. I hope. Oh shit! The brakes were not strong enough. That's a problem. The G's, uh, yeah, these stats are quite terrible. Oh. <laughs> we have 27 positive G's. <laughs> it's not even just the laterals. <laughs> um, yeah, this didn't, it didn't work as well as I expected. It's almost 300 meters. It's going 270 kilometers an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
You know, what if I just change nothing except I'll just lower the lift hill. By not making it a lift hill, but a cable hill. Or all the way around. Not a cable hill, but a lift hill, which will go like this. Ah, damn it. Track in the way. No problem. Then I need to figure out. No, not delete it. You can hold delete button. Nope, auto clicker. Which makes everything quicker. Okay. Nope, it need to be one higher. So in RST2, you click right. Like if I want to start building here, I right click on it. But here that suggests killing the entire thing. It's the left mouse button if you want to start building there. Thank God there is a confirmation box and not ju and it just doesn't just delete it okay 34 kilometers per hour chain lift it's good enough let's see what happens now at least now we don't have to wait 10 million years for the cable lift to come down Little duck below the track. And there we go. Let's see if it makes it at all because I have no idea. At least this speed looks a bit healthier. Are we going to make it? That's the question. The speed actually feels like a more like an actual roller coaster now. It actually slows down at the top. Although these turns might still be a problem. Let's see what the brakes do. How... How weak are those brakes? What? Are the... Those, those brakes are not doing anything. Like, there are brakes here. Ha! I got 9.23 excitement. Max speed 170 almost. St still 10 G's and almost 7 laterals. <laughs> In RST2 you get a penalty for having 2.8 lateral G's. And here you have 6.8 without any problems. <laughs> How is this a good ride? Well, welcome to Rollercoaster Tycoon uh, 3, my friend. <laughs> That's how it works here. I also have no idea whether 9.3 is anything near what 9.3 is in RST2. Let's see what happens if we build trees near the track. We just built a forest here. Okay, the excitement rating has increased. By a bit. Quite a bit, actually. Um, what happens if we add some other trees? It 
it's not going up very much anymore. But what we still have is right events. Let's do an erupting volcano. Let's do two erupting volcanoes. And how about a shark attack? Do I need to sink these or something? I suppose they'll go automatically. Oh, this is going almost going through the volcano. <laughs> that seems dangerous. Um, now the question is. Oh yes, it did increase the excitement rating. Why can I not increase the number? Well, okay, now I can make the train longer, by the way. Um, let's open it. Let's make it go slightly faster on the chain lift as well. 9.94, we're doing well, we're doing very well. <laughs> yeah, not even breeze, they're kind of... Toxic fumes. Um, okay, what if I add some scenery that is not trees? What if I add some dolphin fountains? Because why not? Ooh, can I make it? Oh wait, this is just sorting for big scenery. Uh, this is a lot of dolphin fountains. This should be enough, right? Do you think the guests can handle this many dolphins? We're still not over 10 excitement. Oh, greetings back to Canada. Welcome, Jaybird Blue. <laughs> Come on, I want to get to 10. Oh yes, the guests are going to ride it. Is there anything else we can add? I suppose we can add more ride events. What if we add... Not a shark. And two more sharks. Stupid guests are once again trapped in an enclosure. Along with apparently two handymen. Oh, it's already gone. Oops. I did not mean to miss that. Water feature. What do you mean? You can fling your coaster off the track from hundreds of feet and just walk away <laughs> like they tripped on the sidewalk. Yeah. Are handymans motivated? I don't know. Oh, make it go over a pond. Yeah, I can do that. Where are we? Bunch of screamers. Little babies. So, let's make some land. Let's see if that does anything. Um, or make some water, I mean. Terrain surface. No. Oh, oh, this is a land thing. Okay, let me make... Let me make this bigger. We can make this very deep. 
And what's up? Welcome to your first stream, Asumolar. And greetings back to Germany. <laughs> it's like a black hole. Oh, we can't go deeper than that, but still. Um. Ooh, terrain editing mode. Wait. Isn't... Ooh. Now ah, that's fancy. Okay, now let's add some water. Ooh, now that's easy. That's actually pretty nicely done as a feature. And look at those shadows. That's not bad. What's it is? It's like for waterfalls. How do I do that? Ooh, ducks. That's also still the same. Ooh, I can paint. Oh, I want that. Snow and ice, yes. Or how about whatever that is. <laughs> nah, that's ugly. Let's do cracked mud. That at least blends well with the grass. You can rip off the feathers from ducks by left click and move. I hope that's not true, but if it. Well, I hope it's true, but that's cruel. Holy. <laughs> that's amazing. Whoever. Made that feature is a genius. A cruel genius. But a genius nonetheless. Wait, where's the duck gone? Bam! Wait, I can't. Oh, you can't you, you can't do it when they're here. I'm Oh you can! Nice. I'm so zoomed in. This I really zoomed in. Okay, have we hit 10 excitement? Oh. Um, because of the extra speed, the intensity has gone up. <laughs> Let's lower the speed again then. We were on 5 excitement. Apparently, some penalties do exist in this game. Yeah, I agree. The, the reflections are great. It might also be retaining more speed because the trains are now longer. Let's see what happens if I go back 2 km per hour on the chain lift. This is already more terraforming and scenery placing than I did in my last RST3 stream. And I actually built a normal exhibit. There are still guests. Just climb out. It's not. It. It's like a chain fence. Even I can climb out of that. Come on. <laughs> the guests aren't fan of the new ducks. Well, I am a fan of new ducks. Very much so. All right. Um, what's the other? What do we have here? We built a go karts last time. Oh, an observation tower. How tall can I make this? The, the nice thing is that I can just do this. I can just keep my auto clicker on. Oh, what's up, Niels? Welcome. I, <laughs> I wonder how tall I am right now. <laughs> we got, you saw how quickly it went. I must be at least a kilometer tall now. 
is... How long can we keep it here? Have we reached the start of pretty much? Yeah. Alright. Let's test this. No, never mind. Let's build an ex entrance and exit building and let's open it. Wait, where do I... How do I build... Where is the button for exit and entrance building here? Do we do it? need to do it via here? That's dumb. Anyway, let's open it. <laughs> I'll need a pressurized cabin. <laughs> can we... Okay, I don't think we can look straight up. No. What if we try to do this and then... Can we, well, we also can't look straight up. Okay, what are the stats of this thing now? Still five excitement. Oh, it's even gone down. The trains are still too long, so let's make this slower even. You can turn the camera while in ripe mode. Oh, you can? Ooh. Uh, oh, now that's stall. This is also going to take... Whoa! <laughs> you might get motion sickness from this. This is trippy. But also cool. <laughs> Ominous pillar to eternity. <laughs> Ooh, am I, uh, I've turned to fill 360 degrees. Like, uh, we're looking upside down now. <laughs> uh, I'll look straight up again. There we go. This is better. Oh wait, I'm actually turned too much. Uh, I think now I'm right. I don't know. Let's not wait it out because it's gonna take a long time. In meanwhile, let's build some stalls. We haven't done that yet. How about some Western stuff. Bison burgers. Oh, I could go for a burger right now. And steakhouse. Make a stall and pretend like the food is made from killed cats in the animal area. Alright. Uh... Guest steaks. That says streaks. Steaks. Funny. If I add an R, it changes the pronunciation of the EA from A to E. Steak, streak. Oh god, I pressed R accidentally again. Gotta love how inconsistent English is. Rocket Boost Cantina. This sounds so goddamn corporate. Like they want to be super excited. Rocket Boost Cantina. Well, it's just like a Pepsi or something. Space Shake. Oh no, you're wrong on that, Hank. It is Jif. Fight me. Ooh, Indian feather. Now, when I watch some Twitter people get angry at Rollercoaster Tycoon 3 for cultural cultural appropriation. 
because Indian feathers is offensive. Just like Western hats. Do we have... Okay, we don't have any styled... Um, what are these called? Like... General... Stall thingies? I'm not sure what you'll call this. Um, and let's build the last one. Umbrellas. This is not a toilet. Oh well, then we have two toilets. That's fine too. Let's open all this stuff. Alright. It's all open. How's this thing doing? We're still going up. Still no end in sight. And the park is tiny. <laughs> no, that's great. Flat earth. I see a curve. Um, might just be me though. But. Doesn't seem flat to me. This is amazing. And we're... I, don't, and I have no idea how close we are to the top. Or is that the... Either the top is slowly coming closer, or that's just an illusion. And I don't know. It's probably just an illusion, because... I was building quite quickly with the auto-clicker, and I kept the mouse on it for quite a bit. VR stream. Now, I don't want people to become so sick they throw up. The intensity rating is still too high. Let's lower the chain lift speed even more. I wonder, do we already have more apes? Because there were some pregnant quite quickly. Is there... Does anyone know? Is there like a list of animals that I have? Attractions? Yes. Okay, we're still with eight. So it takes forever for them to give birth. Speaking about the buggy, let's do it. Let's go into the water. Whee! <laughs> Can I drive on the bottom? <laughs> I'm sinking. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is cool. This is so cool, this looks amazing. Imagine the things you could build. Yeah, it's like that Gorillas game. I know, I know the exact game. This is cool. Now the big question is, can I get out of it? Probably not. Oh, I missed a spot here. <laughs> There's still bricks down here. <laughs> We came further than I expected, but we're never getting out of here. Never in a million years. So, uh, let's give up on that. Think you're stuck. Yeah, you're right. Okay, before I box myself in, let's build some path around here. There we go. Let's also do the same here. And here. 
There we go. Let's launch this. Although there are not too many. Ooh, it's about to give birth. Can we see that? Hang on. Oh, wait. It already happened. Now that's cute. Can I see the chimp? I don't know. Oh, this is or also already happened? I think. How does David Braben get into the enclosure every time I go bowling? Like there's only one David Braben because that's the cheat name. Where is he anyway? Is it this fella? Yeah. David the dumbass. Yeah, I agree. Alright, let's give them some more balls to play with. What was that sound? Huh. Damn it. Wait, is there... What? Wait, did you... I saw a hole. But... Oh, this guy finished it. Or fixed it. Ooh. I did not know that was a thing in this game. Gotta be careful. Or not. Depending on how sadistic I feel. Ah, this is a good amount of balls, isn't it? That's just like Su Tycoon. There the fences degrade as well. So Su Tycoon has uh, a cheat. If you hold, I believe, shift and four or something, then you get money. And the longer you hold it, the more you get money. But at the same time, your fences degrade at a super quick rate. Like if you hold it for 30 seconds, most of your fences will be gone. And your entire zoo will be screwed. So you either gotta use it at the start before you got any exhibits, or you gotta use it very, very carefully. So I wonder, can the chimps die if I launch a coaster into their exhibit onto them? Okay, I need to be a bit higher up for this. God, building this is so slow without an auto clicker. All right, uh, let's launch it a bit quicker. All right. Ooh, this baby one is close. Okay, let's see what happens. Test. Come on, quickly now. Oh, the... Wait, Animal Keeper 10 is trapped inside an enclosure. That That's like... They're supposed to be trapped in the enclosure. I... Don't think I've killed a chimp though. That's a shame. Oh well, better luck next time. Alright, what are the ratings on this? Are they finally good again? Nope. Still too high. Alright, what if I just lower the train length again? Back to a more manageable 7 it was, I believe. 
Or is it just like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, where all this stuff doesn't add excitement unless you retest it, or intensity, I mean. That's a possibility as well. Are the guests afraid of water? I don't know if they're afraid, but they can swim. She won't drown. Although her method of swimming is a bit odd. <laughs> but she'll live. She's going the wrong way though. Like, very far away. But she'll live, she'll be fine. Are there once again someone trapped in the enclosure? How did you get here? How do people constantly get inside the enclosures? Is it just that I'm bowling? Or is it something else? What are her thoughts? Well, probably they're quite normal now, since I've gotten her out. Okay, let's build a pool. I already know what kind of pool I'm gonna build. We're gonna... Wait. Oh, there's a hill thingy here. Okay, let's abandon that pool. Let's build a pool on flat land here. We're gonna make a checkerboard. Wait. What's going on? Why is... There... Why is that happening? This is not... This was flat ground just a moment ago. What's going on? Has a Harambe moment happened yet? Not yet. Um, okay, let me fix this ground. Let me make it... Like that. Oh, did I just... <laughs> They're all dizzy. That's amazing. <laughs> What did I do? Wait, what? Oh, I just... Wait, what happened? Everything raised. Or did it... No, it low... I lowered around. There we go, I can fix that. Alright, luckily the game is fairly robust. Because it's still... Like, everything's still normal now. Okay, let's try again for the swimming pool. Let's first just do this. Why is there, like, a drop around it, though? That That's not normal. Why is this into the ground like that? That that's not supposed to happen. Right? Or if the ground isn't supposed to go all weird, it didn't do that last time. Can I... Okay, I can build changing rooms here, so that's fine. Um, let's... Okay, let's get rid of this. This is not supposed to happen, guys. Let's fix that. You know, I can also just fix the ground around here. There we go. 
Now let's connect this. Let's see if the RST3 guests are better than RST2 guests on big planes of path. And now I'll do what I was planning all along. We'll go. Whoa, that was a very fast rotation. We'll go for the checkerboard pattern. That was a mistake. I'll fix that later. Um, there we go. Ooh, we have different shapes here. And now we'll play wave balls, wave thingies on all sides. Later we'll just rotate into the. Oh, we can't build them in there. That's a shame. But we can build them in these square ones. Which is good enough, I suppose. There we go. What was that sound? I just heard a weird sound. I don't know what it is, or what it was, but okay. And then... We do this, wave height, wave length. Wait, why can't, oh, it's not open. Why can't I, oh, I can change it on this. Wave run for and every minute. And if everything's going well, we should have spiky pools. There we go. A whole lot of spiky balls. <laughs> Let's now also build an actual pool. Okay, what kind of weird shapes can we get? Looks like some kind of animal. <laughs> oh yeah, let's put some stairs in it. And diving board. On the opposite end, a wave machine. Let's put a diving board. Okay, we can't put it there. <laughs> it just ends on the opposite side. Like that. <laughs> Diving board there. Some bubble bath. Just a few. Oh, we need to open all of these. Separately. Now that's stupid. Built a dick shaped pool. No. I'm not going to be that immature today. Now it's time for a water slide. Wait, what does the inflatable ship do exactly? Uh, I, I still don't know what this does. But it looks cool. What happens if someone gets dropped in the spiky waves? Um, I can't. But, you know, I assume they'd live. I think it's a slide, yeah, I suppose. But there's, like, 
stone. It's like a hard surface here, which ought to be painful to land on. That's not my problem. Let's build a lazy river. That's the wrong way. What if we just do it like this? <laughs> Water's being generated <laughs> out of nowhere. Um, do I need to, like, I need to connect path to it or something. Uh, hang on, what if I do... There's like... Yeah, I want this. Oh, but that's not... This is not tall enough. Okay, what if I build path going around? Oh, this works. This is really steep, by the way. I still can't open it. Oh, it probably needs to be a circle. Oh wait, this is just a station. I did not notice that. Ooh, ooh. What's this? Oh, we can make it wide. Whoa! Whoa, this is cool. Sadly, we can't go up and down. There we go, now it's finished. We still can't open it. How do I open? How, or do I need to like build some path to it still? But Well, not this kind of path, pool path, of course. Um, yeah, I suppose I need to do this. Um, this is not the most efficient ball thing, but that's all right. There we go. Now we can open it. Ah, oh, we can't ride it in coaster cam. That's sad. It's possible to build them in RST2 if you know how. Well, oh, they can also just reach it from here. Why wasn't that good enough? Okay. That's dumb. You can do anything in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 if you know how though, with Open RST 2. Or well, almost anything. Exit path. I don't think there really are exit and entrance path, maybe? We'll see where they go off. The I don't think I'm seeing... Oh, this is not opened. Well, that was my bad. It's really crowded in this pool. This is, this is not normal. Also, they're merging. Guests clearly don't have clearance checks. Oh, they're going much more slowly there. That makes sense. The game closed. Oh, the exit is too dangerous. <laughs> A lot of new orangutans. 
All right, let's get rid of you. Where do I get rid of it? There we go. Um, let's add a pool to this. And now we should be able to do this. Now this should be good enough. Now we also have quite a few gorillas and chimps by now. Because we've gotten quite a lot of birth. Also, what are the stats of this? Are they good again? Yes, they are. Now I can increase the chain lift again. We can even fast forward. I, I keep forgetting about this fast forward uh, feature. No, I want coaster cam. <laughs> <laughs> now that's quick. Nine point eighty eight. I want ten. Damn it. I could just make it longer, which will which will probably work. Are guests using this? Yes, they are. Oh god, he was entirely submerged in the wood. That looks painful. Also, where are they, these guests getting off the ride? Okay, so are they, they are not using this. Well, they are using this path, but they can also use the other path. Have you checked the tower again? Not yet. Uh. <laughs> We're kinda high up. Uh, yeah. There's still no end in sight. <laughs> I've seen this before. This like gray white line. Um but never in a coaster where I could so easily go stare up and stare Ooh. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> and there are guests in here. Oh there's one guest. I don't suppose they're very happy. <laughs> no test results yet. Is not finished yet. One person on the ride. Imagine how lonely that is. <laughs> the Neil Armstrong. Alright. Do we have any music with space in it? Yes, space the gray. Ooh. That reminds me of the fireworks show that I put on last time. I meant to guess, but okay. Well, now the ride's called Neil Armstrong. It's a pretty cool tune. I could dance to this. Whoa, very popular. This. I don't. What? Oh, this is, are, is this where the zookeepers are trapped? Yeah. 
<laughs> Look at that. They're trapped. Let's fix that. I hadn't noticed that hole yet. Wait, why are they, why is it not coming up? Is it because there are animals there? I suppose I'll have to get the animals out manually. Okay, can I find out which ones are in there? Suppose this one might be, considering how weird it looks. Uh, this one seems to be inside. Weirdly enough, or are these two in the hole? I see a gorilla or a chimp down there because it's black. So one of these chimp, oh, this one seems to be down there. Did the coast just explode? Yeah, I did that. Okay, there is still... Is that food? Oh, that's food, not chimps. Or orangutans. Can I... Raise it now? Or because of... Or, or can I not raise it? Oh, crap. Cyril the Chimp <laughs> due to extreme neglect. Don't believe them. I'm a good animal father. Ah, now I can raise it. There we go. Why do I hear a chopper? What? What, what, what are you doing? You know, you're, you're stealing my animals. What? Where's my AK-47? I want to shoot it down. My rocket launcher. What? I'm going to sue you to hell for this. This won't be the last you've heard of me. I will... Kill you! Stealing my monkeys. That was... That was rude. Shoot it... <laughs> Imagine shooting it down with a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, someone needs to make a cult mod for this. Best reliability. Well, not reliability for care for the animals. <laughs> because apparently I'm neglecting my animals. Which I don't agree with, but... Who am I to argue with them? They'll just have to argue with my lawsuits. Which is their choice. Let's build our eye, shall we? Let's build a thrill ride. What do we have? Is it entertaining break entertainer break dancing? Yes, he is. Which is quite a feat. In such a costume. That's... I don't think many people will be able to do that. Oh! <laughs> this is a roto drop. 
<laughs> Poor guests. Alright, it's not as high as the other one. But it's still very high. Um. Oh, launch speed. What if I just make that very high? Okay, what happens? This is amazing. But we're not going fast enough because now we're just going up very... Oh, we're going down. <laughs> I feel like we've reached terminal velocity quite quickly. Um, What if we do low... <laughs> there it goes again. Okay, what if we make it go faster even still? <laughs> Launch speed activates auto clicker. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I wonder how fast we can go. Is the limit still 3600 kilometers per hour? Are you a big fan of snapping guests' bones? Yes. Oh, there it went. Oh, we're at the top very quickly. Now we're spinning around. <laughs> what are the cheese on that? Quite a lot, I can assure you. And now we go down. But now it's low friction, so we should be going faster. In the end. No idea how fast this is though. Definitely not as fast as the launch. <laughs> it's gone so quickly. What? We still have only 8.35 intensity. This is nonsense. We have 840 positive Gs. Actually... Uh, let's open this. Can we also change the speed on this? Yes, we can. Oh, it only goes up to 18. Wait. But David... Wait, is David Braben is still in the park, right? Huh, there's a limit to this, even with David Braben. That's interesting. So, speed results. Max speed. Oh, it's almost double. Damn. And it's just over a kilometer tall. Oh, drop results. Highest drop height, zero meters. Uh, might be an overflow or something. Let's make it taller. People are getting on. Well, we're making it taller first. <laughs> well, it might be possible that David had left the park right between that Mac 3 and the observation tower, which is what I was wondering. Height overflow, maybe. But it still says 6300 kilometers per hour. Okay, how long does this take? Uh, not very long, we're already at the top. <laughs> the other tower is next to us. <laughs> this is amazing. Now we're going down.
we're probably going to reach terminal velocity very quickly because this is a light card. It's going to take quite a while. Now nah, you can you can survive well over 20 Gs. I think the record for most Gs ever survived confirmed is about 214. Um which was a race car driver, Formula 1 driver who crashed and it was calculated that he experienced 214 Gs and lived. But I think if you want to kill people instantly, probably need our 30, 40 Gs. 20 I don't think will be enough. Although it depends on the direction and like what you're smacked against and stuff like that. So 20 might be enough. Yeah, 840 Gs would, uh, is definitely enough. I don't disagree with you there. We still have normal stats. Alright, what about this thing? I was about to say the color change, but... Oh, we're going down! We've reached the end. Well, this is going to take forever. <laughs> it's only going 18 kilometers per hour and it's like 5 kilometers tall. How tall is this thing? 3.5 kilometers. A bit more. Which is fairly tall. How tall is this ride actually? Under 10 meters. It's not the tallest coaster in the world. Because that's still King the Car. I wonder how this thing's doing. Is it getting any guests? Well, it is obviously. 544 per hour. That's not bad. Does it cost money? No. Where can I change that? Um, or I can't. I probably can't. Oh, speaking about, we have these little graphs, which uh, are fun. Altitude. You can see it coming down from five thousand meters. It's especially going to be fun once it launches. If we just have altitude. <laughs> or you know what? If we just have lateral G's. <laughs> no, wait, not laterals. Verticals. Yeah, guests are immortal in this game. That's fine. They won't die. Just vertical G's. They'll be quite high. Uh, which is a bit of an underestimation. Spit soft serve. Oh, it's already gone. Oh, uh, it starts at about 800 Gs and then just goes <laughs> down to zero. And you, you won't see anything else. Oh, what's up, uh, Bobski, Colorado? Good to have you here. Oh, it's going down again. We might have a lot of Gs once we stop here again. I wonder if they'll register on the scale. Any second now. Oh, we're back down to normal to a normal scale. That was still about a hundred Gs. Just a stop. Which is still very painful. This thing should be a bit closer to Earth now. I uh, don't really see a difference, but we are close to Earth. 
Oh, that red ring. I think that's from sunset or sunrise. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we just saw a guest buy something for twenty five. Or what? I think I think it was me spending money actually. Because everything's free. <laughs> Good to know the brakes work on the rotor drop. Yeah. Quite well. I wonder if I if I would calculate because in a split second we're going from zero to thirty six or sixty five hundred kilometers per hour. That's a lot of G's. That's probably more than the G's I calculated in my video about G's in RST2. Alright, let's remove this. This is stupid. There it is again. Let's even out the ground. There is one ride type which has access to a vertical chain lift. Which can do a very similar thing. I think it's called the towering coaster. Yes. So if you just do this. Then just go up. And then just go down again. Then you'll have a tower. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Nubchub. <laughs> nice name. And a lot of love back to the USA. Because most of my viewers are from the USA. Although percentage wise it's definitely the Netherlands. And we're back. To space. Yeah, this stream is definitely calls the space elevator stream or something. Alright, let's increase the chain lift speed a bit. The USA, that's where Spain is. Ah. Uh, oh, thank you, Nubjab. For the sub. Depending on your definition, Spain is in the USA. There's probably like a town called Spain or something in, in, in the US. Hang on, can we actually increase the number of cars? Oh yeah, but not the number of cars per train. There we go. Whee! God, the G's on top of this thing would be painful as hell. Yeah, America's down in Limburg. Similarly, Nederland is a town in Nederland. <laughs> the brakes on the station here are quite adept. <laughs> Gotta love this. Okay, what if we make it do more circuits, but it can't. We need just a single train for that. Yeah! <laughs> now this is great. Let's also turn on low friction. Oh, that's quick. There are two towns in the US named Spain. I knew it. So I'm quite a geography nerd. And there's a, 
series of quizzes online uh, made by a fellow named Ian Fisher. And he has a one quiz that's just name as many cities and towns and places and whatever's incorporated in the USA. And you can get a lot of places in the USA by just typing Berlin, London, Amsterdam, Madrid, <laughs> Rome, Bern, Stockholm, Oslo. <laughs> Not all of those might work, but a lot will work. And at least the big ones will work multiple times for multiple different states. There's also London, Canada, which is quite a big city, actually. All right, 50 laps is going to take a while, so uh, let's just... Uh, ...do something else while we wait for that. Yeah, there's a Stockholm here in New Jersey. There's also like 25 Springfields that the Quicks recognizes. You can only get one of a certain name per state. Just like if you do the quiz for Europe, you can only get one per country. Which is a shame, because there are a lot of places with the same name in every country. Like the Netherlands, uh, where I live, where I know that, because I know a lot of small places here. Okay, what don't we have? We don't have a transport right yet. Elevator. Do you know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking. Space elevator. Does it have like a station on every level? The Netherlands also has a very long place name. It's not as long as um Glan Per Publier Gogogog. But it is quite long. Uh which is Gasselter Boerveense Mond. <laughs> which for me sounds not at all weird, but for non-Dutch people that would probably sound quite odd. And it's quite long. Gasselter Boerveense Mond. Glanver isn't even the longest place name in the world. There's like a place in New Zealand which is quite a bit longer. Yeah, that one. And there's also um, Bangkok, the capital of Thailand, has probably the longest official name of any place in the world. It's like, I don't know how long it is, but it's much longer than that New Zealand town. Alright, how... I can't make this go higher than 18. I can make it go down, which is very slow. Is it going to stop at every stage? <laughs> it's gonna take forever. No, it's much longer than that, Nubjub. It's... Like 10 times as long as that, the entire official name. There's there, there's a great video, you, you, you might have seen it already, um, of a weatherman, um, Liam Dutton, I believe, nailing the pronunciation of Glanfair. Which is amazing. It's just 20 seconds long, but it he pronounces it so well, so elegantly, so British. Yeah, that might be the entire thing, Nubjub. Is this thing done yet? Yes, it is. 27 intensity. Max speed for 50 kilometers an hour. More than a hundred G's. 
And only 27 intensity. It's 700 meters tall. Oh yeah, peeps will probably write this indeed. Well, it is open, so... You know what? Let's advertise for it. Because you can advertise for rights. So select the publication. National newspaper. Uh, what's this called? Probably like Towering Coaster one? Yeah. Now imagine the ad for this. <laughs> How would they advertise this? Because if they're honest, that's not exactly good advertisement. They did it have one inversion? I don't think so. Uh, but you're right, it does say one inversion. Which is odd. It does seem to only count from one lap though, otherwise it would have had a hundred drops. But I wonder where the inversion comes from. Oh, I think I know. Hang on. Let me quickly build another like half towering coaster. Um, like this is the top. This is where the inversion is coming from. We've got the tallest coaster in the world. Experience world record 100 lateral G-forces. Experience this, mo this monument only at Marcel's Gorilla and Golf. That sounds exciting. <laughs> I don't think any guest has ridden it yet. Uh, with good reason, probably. Oh, look at that. There's a little bit of puke. Looks like gold with some other differently colored gems sp sprinkled in. Oh, did you hear that? Wait. It looked like the entertainer just tried to throw up. Oh. I hear people throw up everywhere. Oh, they like the rotor drop though. Whoa, that's a cool sound. Let's wait until it comes by again. Shouldn't take too long. There it goes again. Doppler effect, yeah. The, the pools are way too popular in this game, by the way. Ah, can I not? Or will they, once I unpause it, Will they go at this? Oh, that one worked. It's really difficult to get them in air. I was kind of hoping that they all went at the same time when I unpaused it, which sadly did not happen. I was disappointed the Planet Coaster Birdies didn't have that Easter egg. Yeah, Easter eggs like this are fun. Ooh, a map. Ooh, now this coaster thing looks a bit suggestive. If I say so myself. This 
This is pretty cool. We can see all the peeps on here. Oh, a lot of things are flickering. I wonder what that is. I wonder how many animals we have now. Uh, we can check that. That's the wrong button. Let's see, we have... They're taking forever to grow up. Or have some just... No, Charlie and Casey are still here. We have six of both. But it's taking so long. Okay, is the observation tower almost back? Oh, yes. Because we see the lift. Hang on. We're almost back down. Although we're not at the height of the tower coaster yet. Tower coaster is not that tall. It's still like 700 meters tall, so... How long has it been up there? In real time? Probably an hour. Or something. Quite long. Oh, there's the top. Of the coaster. <laughs> That's cool. Looks very fragile. Alright, let's build another ride. Do we have any other stuff we can do crazy things with? Let's see if we have any gentle ride that we can do. Oh, hang on. What about the car ride? Can we... Change the speed. Ah, not above 18. That's a shame. Okay, so no car ride. Right? We can... Do elephant transport, though. Which is interesting, because I've never built it before. Wait, I want to go the other way. I said... Okay, wait... Just turned without me doing anything. Oh, I got another set of pregnant chimps. Okay, this is quite boring, to be honest. I was expecting it to look more exciting. But it doesn't. Oh well. Oh, I can't change the speed. Imagine super speed elephants. Oh, that would be fantastic. Logically this ride would be able to cross itself. Yes. But I don't think it is able to. All car types would be a great <laughs> Imagine an elephant. Safest park. <laughs> In your dreams. We'd imagine an elephant on this ride or on the observation tower just pinned on the on the tower. Oh, we're almost down. There we are again with the vertigo. I think we can even see it now. Yeah. 
we're going to see the stats. I wonder how tall it is. It's definitely the tallest out of all the towers I've built. Alright, what are the stats? Not assessed yet. Well, let's look at the others. It took 70 minutes. And it's 8 kilometers tall. You know, that actually lines up really well. Because it's been going for a bit under 18 kilometers for the longest time. And it's about 16 kilometers tall. Or long. 8 kilometers tall. So the 70 minutes actually works. Um... Because in RST2, all that stuff doesn't work at all. If you try to calculate the right time, based on the right length and the right speed, you don't get any correct answer. Um, but here, you actually do. Um, force results, yeah, they're not very exciting. Drop results, total air time, 35 minutes. <laughs> Apparently, the whole time that you go down is air time. Or up. I don't know. No, oh, the stats are quite normal, actually. So I kind of want to try to expand this even more because we can. So let's just do that. And let's see how tall we can go before it doesn't reach the top anymore with 36 kilometers per hour launch. 4.5 intensity on observation tower. It's still not that high. Yeah, 35 minutes airtime. That would give you a hell of a lot of excitement in RST2. 35 times 60 is... About 2100 seconds, which is quite close to the actual maximum possible airtime in RST2, which gives you about 90 excitement points. A slight bit less. Alright, let's test it again. Are we at the top already? Oh, yes, we are. That was quick once again. We are just able to still see the park. Is 90 excitement even possible on RST2? Oh, yes. Um, my record in RST2 is 327.67. And there it's going down again. Now, to be fair, I did exploit the glitch for that. For the 300 excitement. But for 90, you don't have to exploit the glitch. You just have to exploit the airtime. Seeing that there's no cap on that. You just need to build a ride with insane amounts of airtime. Which I did. There it is. How tall is it now? Oh, it's um, almost 7 kilometers tall. That's uh, a nice height. Although, for any, like, normal rides in RST2, I think if you want to build, like, a scenario... Uh, a ride that, that you can reasonably build in a scenario. The max is probably like 13 or 14. Could go a bit higher if you're really rich. But those the, those monsters with, with 200 uh, excitement or even like 50 excitement. They're just gargantuan. Or they're not that small and they just do a little laps. Poor elephants. Yeah, imagine elephants in a circus. They're not going to have a great time. You can get the 13 excitement giga. Yeah. 
like, but it's big and it's not very practical. You can like only about half the coasters in the game in RST2 have that thing with they the other half doesn't get excitement for airtime at all. And I believe that the floorless coaster is the best one for high excitement rating that doesn't get airtime. I have reached um just over fifteen excitement with the floorless coaster. But Um, that's, once again, it's a huge coach. You need to max out all the scenery bonuses and stuff like that. It's not worth it to try to build it in a real park. Also, I don't think that any guess is going to go on this. Uh, just a guess, but I don't see any, so yeah. This is why I love Arid Heights in RST1. No money and outside the park rating thing... There's no pressure to actually finish the park because you have unlimited time. That's why I love my test park. <laughs> no pressure to do anything. I can just do whatever I want. So before I started the stream today, I was a bit worried about if it was going to be too similar to the last one. Because I don't really intend on building normal parks. But it's it's quite different. Um, but I think I'm going to call it here. It was a very fun stream. But it's also been long enough. There's no driving a buggy through all the guests. Oh, let's do that before we stop. Let's spawn another buggy. Shall we? Let's f mess around with the buggy. Oh, we, okay. We can't go in first person mode. We can go over the spiky pools. Whoa! Whoa! How many guests were there? Like. <laughs> This is great. I need to get out of here. Oh. Oh yeah, right. Oh. I uh, don't think I can get out of there though, so let's spawn in another one. Why in the pool again? Oh, because the, no, he, the guy is not in the pool. Poor guests. What happens if I just wait the... Oh, it's going right through me. Oh, hello, Mr. Elephant. I don't think I can hit the elephants. Because the other car went right through me. Well, let's wait for it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's just going through me. I wonder if the other buggy is still there. I don't see it. It's so crowded here.
amazing. <laughs> I wanna get... There we go. I'm glitched. I'm stuck. I'm loose. Oh, I'm assaulting Mr. Bones. My wheel stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. I want to get in. <laughs> the handyman. Can I get in over the broken fence? If I can hit it. No, I can't. All right, let's just. Oh. The pen, yes, what if I do this? Cool. I actually shouldn't delete it all because that's a shame. That's pretty cool that it just cages the monkey. Oh, I'm assaulting a shark. Come on, shark. You're looking fine tonight. Let's go for one more bowling round. And let's enjoy the music. Because this is great music. By the way, did the lift ever finish? It did. Just over a kilometer tall. Alright, that was it for this stream. Let me save the park. What did I call it? Stream 25. And I want to thank you all very much for watching. It was a fun stream. And we'll certainly do RST3 again. I don't know when... Just like last time, I didn't know when I would do it again. But it'll happen again. So, um, once again, thank you all for watching. And I will see you in the next live stream. Have a good night.